sustainability. It means continued growth without hurting the environment and depleting natural resources. There's a place that goes beyond lip service to this concept. In this hideaway southeast of Manila, sustainability is the guiding force of day-to-day -day operations. 33 kilometers off the coast of Real Quezon is Balisin Island, where you find Balisin Island Club. This is the private airport. It is built higher in the middle and lower towards the side. When rain falls, it flows to the side and the water goes straight to the reservoir. Water collected in the reservoir goes through a filtering system where it is purified for use in the villas. Water used by guests then flow to the waterways and undergo reverse osmosis for use in gardening and household maintenance. This is a 500-year-old banyan tree, a symbol of Balisin Island Club's respect for the environment. Here, they build the roads around the trees. In Balisin, only specific driveways are cemented for pickup and drop-off of guests. Most roads are kept in the state the Ongpin family found them. The dirt roads are best explored on a mountain bike. It is called the Jungle Trail. If you prefer to roam without sweating it out on a bike, electric golf carts can take you around the island. Energy conservation is a cornerstone of the Filipino-inspired Balisin architecture. Alfresco areas in the clubhouse, restaurants, and the villas offer fresh air, sea breeze, and an ample view of nature. Balisin's design incorporates driftwoods found floating around the island. The driftwood now graced the interiors of Balisin as elegant, one-of-a-kind decor and furniture. Uh, we try to use all local environment stuff. We use driftwood that comes in from other islands and we cut it, as you can see when you walk around, we cut it in half and we make tables, we make benches, we make uh, chairs out of that. We use the locks to make uh, side tables. When finished, Balisin will have six different resorts. The Asian-inspired Balisin, Bali, and Phuket, and the European-inspired Costa Esmeralda, Saint-Tropez, and Mykonos. Beyond the environment, Balisin changes lives by giving livelihood to the local community. Balisin's Welcome Center staff tells Rappler how the locals found a lifeline in Balisin. Kasi po dati walang mga trabaho dito. Nung po wala pong Balisin, wala pa pong Alpalan. Nung po dumating yung Alpalan, parang nagkaroon na po lahat ng trabaho yung uh, walang trabaho. Para po hindi na sila lumabas sa ibang lugar, dito na rin po sila magtatrabaho. So lahat po nang nasa barrio, dito nakahanap ng trabaho sa club? Opo. Learning from the mistakes of popular destinations in the Philippines, Balisin aims to implement trash, segregation, and sanitation at full optimized levels. I think, uh, first of all, sustainability is uh, something that we want to achieve because so many people in the world, or so many resorts in the world, hotels and resorts, try to be sustainable. They have a percentage of sustainability, but they don't get it 50% right. I think they get it maybe 20, but we're really going to get it 100% right. Balisin managers say word of mouth can build or sink a reputation, and they intend to walk the talk. And there's specific places in the Philippines that we all know that the sustainability is not, not intact. And that uh, drive away not only uh, business, but tourists and, and international tourists. People talk, world is small. Balisin is where luxury resort meets social responsibility, where man's gentle touch enhances nature. <laughs>